Number 41, letter A. What is the average kinetic energy in joules of hydrogen atoms on the 5,500 degrees Celsius surface of the sun? All right, so let's take a look at letter A. So basically, we need a formula that relates kinetic energy and temperature, okay? Now, uh, I actually have one, right? I mean, here's the formula, that the kinetic energy would will be equal to 3 over 2 multiplied by the Boltzmann constant multiplied by the temperature. This is the formula. If you're wondering where this formula came from, please check out my general video on kinetic theory of gases. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, I talk all about how these formulas come about. It should be very helpful. So now all I need to really do is just plug in the values here, right? I mean, this is very straightforward. So kinetic energy will be equal to 3 halves multiplied by that Boltzmann constant of 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 multiplied then by the temperature. Remember, temperature has to be in Kelvin, so I have to take the 5,500 degrees Celsius and add 273 to it. And simply all we now need to do is just calculate. So this is 3 divided by 2 multiplied by 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 multiplied by then parenthesis 550 plus then 273. So we get a value here of about 1.20 or so, I guess, I don't know, 3, so, yeah, I'm just going to do two sig figs. Three sig figs, I mean. Um, so this is raised then to the negative 19th, and that is in joules. Okay, so kinetic energy is, is in joules. And there you go. That's letter A. And let's take a look now at uh, letter B. Put it in a different color. So B, what is the average kinetic energy of helium atoms in a region of the solar corona where the temperature is 6 times 10 to the 5th Kelvin? So guess what? It's just the same thing, right? Kinetic energy, same formula. It's the three. It's the uh, three halves multiplied then by the Boltzmann constant of 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 multiplied by the temperature then in Kelvin, but they gave it to us already, so it's just six times 10 to the fifth. And lo and behold, let's see what this works out to be now. So three over two times 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 multiplied by six times 10 to the fifth. And here we get a value of now about 1.24, uh, 1.24 times 10 raised to the minus 17th. All right. Uh, and that is, again, in joules. Okay. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that helped. Please remember to help us out. Subscribe. See you soon. Take care.